This is part 3 of ASP.NET Chart Control Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating ASP.NET Chart Data programmatically. In part 1 of this video series, we discuss specifying chart data declaratively in the HTML. In this video, we'll discuss creating the same chart data programmatically. Please watch parts 1 and 2 before proceeding with this video. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in parts 1 and 2 of this video series. Notice in the HTML we have specified the chart data declaratively. So let's get rid of this points element and all these data point elements. At the moment we don't have chart data specified declaratively in the HTML. Now let's get to the code behind file and within the code behind file let's include a private function and let's call this function get chart data. And within this function, we are going to write code to specify chart data programmatically. Now, we will be adding chart data to this series 1 element that is present inside this chart 1 control. So we need to get a reference to this series 1 element. And to do that, we are going to use the ID of the chart control, chart1.series. And we want to retrieve the series which has got this name, series 1. So let's copy the name and specify it here. So this should give us a reference to the series that is present inside our chart1 control. So let's store it in a variable of type series. And to that series we want to add data points. So series.points.addxy. So this method is going to help us add values for the x-axis and y-axis. Now if you look at the chart control, on the x-axis, we want to display student names and on y-axis, we want to display their total marks. So the x-axis value is going to be the name of the student, mark, and his total marks are 800. So let's go ahead and specify 800 as marks total mark. In a similar fashion, we need to add data points for all the students. And to speed things up, I have already done that. So let's copy this code and paste it right here. So we have this get chart data function which is going to add chart data programmatically. Now we need to call this function within the page load event. So let's call get chart data and along the same lines we also need to call it whenever the selection within the drop down list changes. So with these changes let's go ahead and run our project. So now we are specifying chart data programmatically. So for example, when we select column chart, notice that the data is displayed using a column chart. And similarly, when we select a pie chart, the data is displayed using a pie chart. Now if you look at the code that we have here, at the moment, we have hard-coded student names and their total marks in the code. But in real time, we may have this data in a database table. In our next video, we'll discuss how to bind database data to a chart control. Thank you for listening and have a great day.